It's where Texans love to camp and hike this time of year. A hidden gem west of San Antonio in the Texas Hill Country. You'll see the breathtaking views in a whole new way. The outdoors are calling. So float the Frio River, catch a fish, and ride the trails. Relax at a riverside cabin or toast marshmallows at your campsite. It's SA Live in Uvalde County. Our first stop, we take you to Garner State Park. Well, I have my hiking gear and I'm ready to go. Jason, can you tell me about this trail here? Because I know it's one of the most popular. You bet. So here at uh, Garner State Park, probably the most iconic trail that we have is the Old Baldy Trail. It takes you all the way up to the top of, of Old Baldy. These picturesque viewpoints, vantage points that you can uh, take these great pictures of your family and everything. So, so Old Baldy is definitely, there's, we, we do recommend though that whenever you're hiking Old Baldy that you uh, bring plenty of water. Mm -hmm. If you're dog friendly, make sure that you bring plenty of water for your dog. So just be prepared and, and, and make sure that you uh, follow the leave no trace guidelines. That's a good rule of thumb. And also in November, you get a nice treat because if you go up there, maybe it's going to be too cold to get in the water, but there's a big payoff at the top. Right? Absolutely. So you have less crowds, mm -hmm. but what you really have is that great beauty of the of the of the fall yep. leaves changing so color. Wow. So you can go up to the top and you can see all the great picturesque cypress trees that are starting to change their colors. And you just get a great view of the hill country. It's a challenging hike. There's a 400 foot elevation gain that you'll need to, uh, that you'll need to be aware of okay. as you're walking up. So it is very challenging. Uh, but other than that though, just, just bring plenty of water is what we always say. And you also want to make sure to stay on the trails, yes, right? Yes, we, we <laughs> always want to make sure everybody stays on the, on the trails. They follow the, air, the trail arrows and the, and the foot marks. Whenever you get off the trail, it becomes unsafe mm -hmm. for, other, for the other hikers. Mm -hmm. Also, there's erosion factors. And so you just want to make sure that you follow the trails as you're going up the hike here mm -hmm. at Old Baldy several different trails to pick from, and it doesn't matter what your hiking skills are. You can pick whichever you'd like, take the challenge, and enjoy the view. And if you do Old Baldy Trail, be prepared. You gotta do some climbing too. Good, this is good. This is beautiful, but we still got more to go. Follow the trail, right? Stay on the trail. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go. Oh, okay, this looks tempting to me, but I gotta remember what Jason said, stay on the trail, don't create your own social trail. Darn, it's tempting, but I'm going this way. And it's not just hiking, there's a playground for kids, an area for dances, there's even a putt-putt golf area. There's also a store on the grounds. You can rent a cabin or bring your own tent. The options are endless. For some, it's about the exercise. For others, it's a little deeper once you get to the top. We've been coming here for 15 years. In fact, we did our honeymoon here. Yes, wow. we did. <laughs> it's awesome, it's awesome. It's a little bit challenging in some places, but it's also very easy. It has beautiful views. It does. The air is wonderful. You see yes. birds and deer and different things. It's really pretty awesome. It's a nice place to come relax and breathe. And it's very lovely because you can literally spend time out there and you can, like if you want to talk to God, it's a very good place to do it mm -hmm. because we've done this for 15 years and this is one of the reasons why we do it again. We do it again and we'll do it again next year. If God's willing, we'll do it again. Mm -hmm. And it's so awesome because we, you can literally just go out there, talk to God and just the sense of... <sighs> so before you take that hike, let's look at what we need from Good Sports. Hi, it's Joe at Good Sports. I'm gonna to talk to you about the five essentials that you need when you go to Garner State Park for a hike. So what you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have with you is hydration, whether it's a water bottle or some kind of pack with a bladder in it, have that with you so you don't get dehydrated while you're out on the trail. The second thing that you're gonna to wanna to have with you is sun protection, whether it's a hat, eyewear, lotion, or even a shirt that has UPF protection built into it. 
Footwear is super important. Your feet are going to be the foundation of all the fun that you're going to have out there at Garner State Park. So make sure you have the right socks that are going to keep moisture off so you don't get blisters and the right footwear for the terrain that you're going to be on. You want to have the proper footwear because you don't want to roll your ankle on a rock or something that's on the trail. Also, you want to have something that's going to give you stability and support for going up and downhill. So don't forget your snacks. You're going to want to pack enough food to get you through the day and maybe a little extra in case you get lost and run out of energy. Packing food uh, can never be overrated, so make sure you have that with you. The most important thing that you're going to want to have with you is the compass and then a trail map at Garner State Park. The phone service is not going to be completely reliable, so you want to make sure you have access to another way of finding your way out of the park in case you need to. Most importantly, we want you to have fun, but if you have any other questions outside of that, please stop by your local outdoor outfit or good sports. Take a look at that view, totally worth the hike. I've had a great time here at Garner State Park, and you can too. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Trusky. Whew, look at that view, beautiful. Uvalde County, Concan, beautiful Texas hill country at Elm Creek Stables. They've got some great trail rides and beautiful scenery. I've heard some horses with personality too. We're gonna go check it out. And joining me is owner George Strive. This is incredibly beautiful property. How long have y'all been here? We've been on this place 25 years. 25 years, and how big of an area is it? It's about 200 acres. How many trails? We have two or three trails, but uh -huh. we generally just use our short trail, uh -huh. then occasionally we use the longer trail. So you offer trail rides. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, we offer trail rides starting about spring break in March, and then we'll operate on weekends until Memorial Day, and then after Memorial Day, we're seven days a week to Labor Day. And do they operate all day long, or they're morning, evening, or they're? They're all day long. The uh, Sometimes the temperatures get pretty hot in the afternoon, so it slows down a little bit. Mm -hmm. But our mornings are generally fairly busy. Now, folks come here uh, for the trail rides, but you have a lot of repeat customers. Tell me, tell me why. Well, I hope they enjoy it. We generally have about 80% of our clientele is repeat customers, families. So how many horses uh, do you have available for trail rides? Trail ride, we generally stick with a, no more than nine or 10 people. Nine or 10 people in groups. Mm -hmm. And I generally have two people. And I see that they, they, they kind of all have personalities. Oh, they all have personalities. <laughs> so if folks want to come out, do a trail ride, what's it going to cost? $30 for the, the what we call the lower trail. Okay. And it's 45 for the higher trail. Okay. And does length of time the length well? of time. It's, it's about an hour on the high trail uh -huh. and where the lower trail we can ride it in about 45 minutes. Now, when folks come out for trail rides, uh, they give back to a great cause, right? Yeah, uh, Beverly has a little horse rescue, and all, all the proceeds from this go into that horse rescue. And she, we, we operate with about 10 horses, but she's feeding about 30 horses. And so it takes everything we can muster up to take care of. Going on the trail rides, I mean, it is just beautiful scenery with all the hills. Thank you, yeah. thank you. Good place to live. Hey guys, it's David Elder, and right here on SA Live, show on the go in Uvalde County. I'm taking you inside a diner that's been around since the 1920s. This place is making classic foods. We're gonna go inside the kitchen. It's phenomenal stuff. So don't go anywhere. SA Live will be right back.
Ready to let your troubles float away? We take you inside the one-stop shop that's got everything you'll need to tackle the great outdoors. And we mean everything. on the river and Ariel Jimenez joins me and this is a great place to stop at when folks want to float the Frio yes. for sure whether they're kayaking floating it doesn't matter I mean you guys have a grocery store and a little bit of everything here right yes we yeah a little bit of everything our t-shirts is definitely like a big thing here at Andy's on River Road we pretty much try to have like the cheapest t-shirts around um, most designs we can every summer. Every part of the store pretty much brings in a lot of people, whether it's our boutique, um, you know, older women come in, jewelry and all that good stuff, either if it's just college kids looking for a quick t-shirt. I mean, but you have stuff for the itty bitties too. Yes, yes, uh, onesies. There's anything for anyone that comes into Andy's. All right, so yes. the most popular souvenirs? T-shirts, I'd probably definitely say T-shirts. Yes, those are our big sellers. So our black uh, long sleeve, we have that in long sleeve and in T-shirt form and in hat form, that one design. So that's probably our next big seller. So not only do we have stuff up here, but uh -huh. we do have uh, stuff downstairs as well. There's about, a whole other level? Yes, how about we go check it out? All right. <laughs> You know I'm so good at fishing, I call it catching. You know what's cooler than being cool? A Yeti cooler. So when folks get out there on or near the water, they got to be ready, right? Yes. And what's behind us is some popular stuff. Yes. Um, so obviously everyone needs a cooler, you know, for all your necessities, drinks, anything like that. And then speakers, you need to listen to good tunes while you're out in the river. Um, our waterproof speakers are definitely a big hit this year. We are here out back and I heard this is where, you know, kind of the party and the fun stuff happens, right Gabby? Yes, definitely. So during our off season, October through April, we do have quite a bit of events. The one coming up in October is Fall Festival on the Frio, along with um, the Fall Family Camp that we do with the Texas Hill Country River region. And so the Fall Family Camp is October 18th through the 20th, and that's just a great way to bring your family. We have different camping spots available in the area. They do a bunch of kayaking, fishing. You can hike at uh, Mount Baldy at Garner. Just a lot of different events. And then on Saturday, October 19th, we do have Fall Festival on the Frio, and that's gonna be um, Back here in our lot, we have a bunch of different craft vendors. So we have anything from jewelry, boutique, different events. And then we have a bunch of food trucks. We have a bunch of different family um, or kid mm -hmm. activities as well. So face painting, train rides, uh, metal detecting, all that fun stuff. So all great fun for family heading into fall. Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so these are our cabins. We have um, 10 cabins that sleep 10 people. They're two bedroom, two bath. As you can see, each of the bedrooms does have two queen beds, and then it does come with your fully furnished kitchen. We have your living room set, and um, this couch does turn out to a bed, so that's, um, you get extra people in here. They have a barbecue pit, picnic table, and um, a fire pit outside, and then we have everything that you'll need in here, so y'all don't have to bring too much. Of course, people come down here to enjoy the river, and I heard you know one of the best ways to kind of enjoy it, right? Oh, there's always to enjoy it. There's always the tubing aspect. You can go tubing with your friends and be on the river for hours and, and, and hanging out with your friends and family. 
but the best way uh -huh. is go get in a kayak, go get in a rapids, go j just enjoy it. We'll take care of you, girl. We're going to get you in a kayak. You ready to go? If I fall out, are you going to fish me out? Uh, <laughs> you going to have like a piece okay. of rope attached to me just in case? Okay, I will. <laughs> yes, ma'am. All right. I've really got the turn down. That's a cool move, right? I parked it like a glove, like a glove, baby. Okay, so of course people come down here to enjoy the river, and I heard you know one of the best ways to kind of enjoy it, right? Oh, uh, there's always to enjoy it. There's always the tubing aspect. You can go tubing with your friends and be on the river for hours and, and, and hanging out with your friends and family. But the best way, uh -huh. is go get in a kayak, go get in a rapids. There's not real white water. Water, okay, good. But it is a blast. We'll take care of you, girl. We're okay. gonna get you in a kayak. Are you ready to go? If I fall out, are you gonna fish me out? Uh, <laughs> You're gonna have like a piece okay. of rope attached to me just in case. Okay, I will. <laughs> yes, ma'am. All right. All right, Rusty, we are standing in front of the beautiful Frio River, about to jump in some kayaks, but where specifically are we on the river? We are at, uh, people call the second crossing, or the locals, everybody down here knows it, a seven bluff crossing. But now you're gonna get in a kayak. All and right. that's the fun part of okay. it. Okay, now, now you're, gonna, you're gonna teach me the do's and don'ts, right? Hey, uh, sure. yeah, there's no <laughs> All right, we'll teach you the do's and the don'ts. Okay. The do is stay in the kayak All and right. don't fall out. <laughs> the don't is, and the don't is don't to. fall out. <laughs> unless you want to. That's always fun to get in the river. All right. But uh, to stay in the kayak, it's real simple. We have seats on our kayaks. Uh -huh. We have paddle. I mean, we're going right. to teach you how to get in the kayak and uh, learn how to paddle a little bit. All right, let's go. You're going to set your booty first. Uh -huh. Booty first. All right. Booty first. Booty first. Ready? Then you'll swing your legs across. Okay. Okay, okay, I'm in. Now then you're in. Mm -hmm. Here's your paddle. Don't lose the paddle. Don't okay. Mm -hmm. To paddle the kayak, of course, on both sides. Okay. Don't lose the paddle. Okay. If you get You'll let me know if my paddle's facing the wrong way. <laughs> we hope you are. <laughs> it's not going to be a lot of trouble. So there's no no rope connecting us or anything? No me. I'm just on my own. Wow, going solo already. Okay. <laughs> Whee! Okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep myself out of the water. Look at us being all outdoorsy, Robert. One with nature. All right, so I've got this zigzag pattern. Woo, check it out, fish tailing again. What? And now I'm going backwards. Totally meant to do this. You like that move? I don't even know what that's called. Oh, and I'm coming back around. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You're a pro. Now that you've got the calm water down, uh -huh. let's go put those skills to the test. What could possibly go wrong, Rusty? <laughs> oh my gosh! Stay in as deep as water as you can. That a girl, put it on the bottom and go. Oh, gotcha. There you go. Oh Good job. Oh my God, this is so fast. Good job. Oh, jo oh, oh. Stay in the fast water. What? Woohoo! Go, oh girl. God. Good job. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, one with nature. One with nature. Ah! Ooh, picking up speed. Picking up speed. Do not turn. Do not turn. Hey guys, it's David Elder, and right here on SA Live, show on the go in Uvalde County. I'm taking you inside a diner that's been around since the 1920s. This place is making classic foods. So we're gonna go inside the kitchen. It's phenomenal stuff. So don't go anywhere. SA Live, we'll be right back.
absolutely gorgeous. And one of the best places to stop when you're in Concan is Neil's Dining Room. What's going on, guys? It's David Elder. I'm out here at Neil's Dining Room out here in Concan, Texas, right next to the Frio River. It is gorgeous out here, y'all. I'm standing right outside. The view is spectacular. But let me tell you, where it's right in front of me looks even better. This right here is Tom's Chicken Fried Steak. Tom's is the great grandfather. He's the guy who started this whole thing. And look at this. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. And when you think of a classic diner option that you can get on the menu out here in Texas, what beats chicken fried steak? Nothing, I'll tell you that. And it's covered with that white gravy that they're making here in house. Double breaded, fried to perfection. I'm ready to dive in, let's do it. Now I'm gonna bread a chicken fried steak. This is what we're known for here. It's a cutlet that I'm gonna get from our local meat market, flour. Then we're gonna go to the milk better. And one more time with the flour. All right. Take it to the fryer, and these just take a couple minutes. That looks perfect. I'll let that rest for just a second. Here we go. That's the bite right there. Look at that. That's a big old piece of goodness right there. Here we go. Mm. That's good, man. <laughs> mm. Check that out. The steak in there, cooked perfectly. Outside, nice and crispy. Perfectly salty. And that white gravy, it just adds all the extra little fatty flavor that you want on there. You can't do anything to make this better. This is perfection right here on a plate. It's what you want. This is gonna fill your belly up and make you feel good. Man, this is, I'm gonna go for another bite. If I didn't have to worry about getting messy, I'd just grab up my hands, man. And now we're gonna make a hot pepper steak. First thing we do is we get a two hamburger patties. We're gonna kinda mash them together. Then I'm gonna get the serranos. I've already had them chopped up. American cheese around the middle. Put it back together, or we're gonna put it together, rather. To the flat top. Put it there, and we're gonna let it cook. Now check this bad boy out right here. Look at this thing's got serrano peppers and cheese inside of a hamburger steak. It doesn't get any better than that, y'all. This is an 80-20 cut, so you know you're gonna get some fat flavor in there as well. That's just goodness, salt, pepper, very simple. Looks fantastic. It got started around the mid 80s. Crazy stuff was happening in the 80s, y'all, and they decided to spice up a steak out here. <laughs> That's the bite. Spice. <laughs> They're not playing around out here. This is like the best hamburger patty I've ever had in my life. I'm I, if you put it between two pieces of bread, I, don't, I wouldn't be mad at you. That is really good. Neil's Dining Room is also serving up a huge plate of nachos, made fresh and right to order. Now to start off your meals out here, you gotta get started with an appetizer and the best one to do it, the most popular one out here, Freddy's Nachos, check that out. And with Freddy's Nachos comes Roger's Hot Sauce. And this is David's video. And we all have things that we can put our name on. For y'all, look at that. They're making this right here in house. And you can buy it too. It's bottled up for you, it's perfect. Nice and gooey, hot out the broiler. That's how you get started though, bacon and cheese and goodness. Bam! This place is fantastic. Great for the whole family and packed full of history. So you guys gotta come out here at Neil's Dining Room when you visit Concan. This is a spot to stop. Great food, great company, people are energetic. And I tell you what, you come in here during busy time during the summer, I dare you to try to get a table. It's nuts in here, it's just packed to the walls. But this place, I mean, the chicken fried steak and that pepper steak, you can't go wrong. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna get another piece of this. I'm serious, I'm gonna eat it all, y'all. Coming up next on SA Live, you guys gotta check out this really, really cool, and by cool, I mean ice cold, because they're serving up delicious ice cold treats out here. Shake Shop, you guys, it's candies, it's all different kinds of things. I'm gonna take you inside, show you what they got on the menu, and some of the over the time stuff that you can get while you come out here as well. It is so good. Mm.
guys, David Elder out here at the Frio Float. This place out here in Concan, man, they're making up crazy, crazy creations. Now you can get them the regular way or you can get them the over the top way. What we're gonna be showing you today is everything that's over the top, all right? So these are like off menu items you gotta ask for, but check this one out. This is an over the top chocolate chip, chocolate chip cookie extravaganza. I don't even know what to call it. What would, what would, you, what would you call it? Cookies and cream over the top milkshake. There you go. It's an over the top cookies and cream milkshake. It's loaded. It's got cookies on cookies on cookies. What? Cookies on cookies on cookies. Awesome, but it tastes awesome, and that's really important. Bluebell ice cream, you got all these little cookies on the side, check this out, you just pull one off, it's got icing on it. Oh. This right here is a Nestle Toll House cookie. It's a cookie sandwich, then you just get a bite out of it. That is incredible. It's the creme de la creme out here, you guys. This is the over-the-top hot fudge sundae. Check this thing out. You got peanuts, hot fudge, you have the chocolate cake icing on the outside, brownies on top on that, and then you got it filled with all that soft serve in there as well, then layers of peanuts in between, and then on top, you got the whipped toppings, sprinkles, strawberry and chocolate, syrup on top, a little birthday truffle right on top of there, and then a big old candy sticking out the top like a unicorn. It's gonna come at you, look at that. That's like perfect for birthdays, man. I get a little bit of everything, so I'm gonna scoop in deep. Mm. This should be called the Super Ultra Mega Godzilla Sunday. I don't know why, but is that, is that good? We are probably one of the sweetest spots in Concan. We offer anything from ice cream, candy, milkshake, sundaes, floats. We are known for our floats. Um, we are kid friendly, family friendly. We are not that far from the Frio River, so a lot of people go to the river and then come hang out afterwards. Absolutely phenomenal. Everything in here is delicious and all the fun creative things that they can put together for you that are over the top. You know it's fun, but they can also do it. If you don't want it as crazy, don't be scared. You can ask for that. They have regular menu items as well. Next, free fishing along the Frio? That's right, we take you back out to Garner State Park to show you how you can fish without paying a dime. Plus, I see what it takes to catch me some fish. You're watching SA Live in Uvalde County. Another fun thing to do here with the family at Garner State Park is of course enjoy the beautiful water, including an amazing fishing program that is free. I have Shaylee joining me now to tell me more about this program. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Thank you all for coming out. Absolutely. So yeah, we do have a free fishing program. It's called um, the Tackle Loaner Program. 
So it's mostly for those people who maybe have never fished before but have been interested in trying it out. We um, offer people a fishing pole that comes fully rigged as well as a tackle box that has bobbers, some sinkers and hooks as well. So they can stop by the visitor center and rent this for up to a week and it's completely free. That is amazing. So yeah. I have to ask because I've been coming here since I was a kid and I did not know about this. Right. So if we can narrow it down, what are five things that families may not know about the fishing program? Yeah, so one, we have it. We have the free tackle loader program. Two, um, you actually don't need a fishing license in order to fish at a state park. So that's a lot of things that people, or a lot of times people don't realize that. So number three, the Inland Fisheries team also comes out twice a year and they come out and release trout and catfish here in the river. So those release dates can be found online if anybody's interested in coming to witness that or potentially fish right after they release those trout and catfish. Fun. Yeah. Lots, lots of fresh fish in there Absolutely, to catch. yes. So number four, we get super busy here during the summer. We'll hit max capacity is very early in the morning. So we do advise that if you are going to fish, you avoid this day use area and either go downstream or upstream in this area just for safety reasons. Okay. Yeah. Number five, just some of the fish that you could find here in the river are, um, we have tons of different perch, um, three different types of bass. We have the Guadalupe bass, the largemouth bass, and the smallmouth bass. And then we also can find catfish here in the park as well. Really? I didn't know there was yeah, catfish here. Absolutely. Too. Yep. All right. Right, five things I didn't know I'm learning today, yeah. and maybe I'll go have some fun. Maybe try fishing because I never really fished it's before. Free. All right, for, so for somebody like me who doesn't fish, what do I need to know? What are what's the basics of fishing? Here? Yeah, absolutely. So first things first, before you even think about casting, we want to look our, around us, check our surroundings, make sure nobody's directly behind us. We're not going to harm anybody. So that's the first things. This is just a really simple one. We just push this button down and then back and then release. And then you just enjoy the beautiful sight. Absolutely. I, mean, I don't know. I think I could just stay here. I might. I might take. Your, are you hiring? <laughs> I can be here. This can be my office. So, Shaylee, you also have a few other programs that people may not know about. Tell yeah, me about those. Absolutely. So, a few other water programs that we offer here. Um, I offer a kayaking 101 program. So, we provide the kayaks and the paddles and the life vests. Um, people just register beforehand, and then they come with me, and I teach them how to kayak. So, it's a new outdoor skill that they could learn. Um, another program that I offer is. Is, um, it's called Backyard Bass. So maybe you've never casted a fish a reel before. Mm -hmm. So with that, um, we actually have some practice rods that you can use and practice casting and then go out and use our tackle loaner program and practice fishing. Wow, so you teach it all? Yes, so a little bit of everything. Yeah. No excuses. <laughs> this is nice and relaxing after a hike, you know? Let's see if I catch anything. information, go to the Texas Parks and Wildlife website. There you can find Garner State Park and make reservations so you can explore and experience all kinds of activities. And don't forget to visit the events section to see what's coming up. In Garner State Park, I'm Jen Tobias Strusky. our day trip to Uvalde County, it's hard to say goodbye to the gorgeous rolling hills with the clear waters of the Frio River winding through. We had so much fun riding the trails on horseback, floating the Frio, hiking and catching up with the campers at Garner State Park, discovering new places to shop and eat, and visiting all the beautiful vacation properties where you can plan a quick weekend getaway. The fun continues tomorrow through Sunday with the Frio Family Camp Fall Retreat in Concan. You can kayak, fish, hike, ride horses, try your hand at archery, go on a nature walk and bird watch, paddle board, or check out the arts and crafts and try for a hole in one at the Golf Club of Texas. And don't forget to roast marshmallows. A big thank you to Uvalde County, Texas and the Hill Country River region. For more information, go online to visit uvaldecounty.com. What are you waiting for? Go have some fall fun.